Welcome to Perio Scaling Exam Instruments and Sequence Review. The instruments required for the exam and for your practice are your mirror, your sickle, your 1 2 Gracie, your universal, your 13 14 Gracie, and your 11 12 Gracie. We will begin on a posterior sextant. For the posterior sextant, you will require your universal, your 1314, and your 1112. We will start on the lower right segment, and today we will be looking at the 46 and the 45. Initially, you want to start with your universal, also known as your 4R, 4L. Place a fulcrum on the tooth, place the instrument on the side of the tooth with the terminal shank parallel to the tooth and the toe pointed mesially to determine the correct working end. If you cannot see the face of the instrument, you have the correct working end. This is the correct working end. If I look at the other end, putting my fulcrum on the tooth, terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth, toe pointed measly, you can see the face of the instrument. With the 4R, 4L, you initially start doing supra-gingival scaling. Start at the distal line angle of the molar, the 46, turn the instrument distally. Obtaining a strong fulcrum, rock on your ring finger upward. With a nice controlled stroke, keeping the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth, work your way super gingerly underneath the con just underneath the contact point. Bring the 4R4L out, turn the instrument so the toe is facing mesially and the terminal shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Again, rock in a controlled motion with at least 10 to 12 overlapping strokes across the buccal surface of the tooth, supra-gingively scaling. As you enter the mesial line angle, roll the instrument in your fingers so the toe points interproximally and work your way interproximally underneath the contact point with the terminal shank finishing parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Repeat the same sequence with the 4-5. Starting at the distal line angle, you're going to scale the distal surfaces of the super surfaces first. Bring the instrument out, turn the 4R4L mesially, keeping the terminal shank parallel with the long axis of the tooth, rocking on your ring finger, rolling the instrument as you go around the mesial line angle, keeping the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth, and finishing at the interproximal between the 4-5 and the 4-4. Going back to the 4-6, turn the instrument so it wraps around the distal line angle of the molar. Tip the terminal shank towards the buccal surface of the tooth and now drop the terminal shank underneath the tissue about 5 millimeters and bring the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth. That is known as zero angle insertion. Again, with a steady fulcrum, rock upward on the tooth, working your way interproximally underneath the interdental coal, scaling the subgingival distal aspect of the 4-6. Gently ease the instrument out, point the 4R4L measly at the distal line angle tip the terminal shank towards the tooth for zero angle insertion at the distal line angle. Bring the terminal shank towards you to open the angle. Again, rocking on your ring finger, 
using controlled overlapping strokes work your way towards the mesial of the tooth as you get to the mesial line angle roll the instrument in your fingers adapting the toe third of the instrument to the tooth working your way interproximally finishing up at the interdental coal gently release the instrument out reposition for scaling the subgingival of the four five adapt the tooth around the distal line angle of the tooth close the terminal shank towards the tooth and gently insert the terminal shank underneath the gum tissue again with a controlled rocking stroke working towards the distal of the 4-5 scale the distal subgingival of the 4-5 ending up at the interdental coal and remember to keep that terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth bring the instrument out turn the instrument towards the mesial staying at the distal line angle tip the terminal shank towards the tooth for zero angle insertion at the distal line angle take the terminal shank and tip it towards you to open the angle now scale the root surface of the 4-5 remember the root is very narrow on the 4-5 so you want to start rolling the instrument in your fingers to adapt the toe third of the tooth to the mesial of the 4-5 ending up at the interdental coal again keeping that terminal shank finishing up interproximally between the teeth and parallel to the long axis of the tooth the next instrument you will use is your 1314 Gracie. Your 1314 Gracie is specifically for scaling the distals of the teeth. With your 1314 Gracie, you will always use the lower cutting edge of the instrument to scale. To assure that you have the correct cutting edge, get a fulcrum on the tooth and place the instrument where you're going to finish at the distal surface of the tooth. If the terminal shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth, you have the right end of the instrument. To double check, you can flip the instrument over and do the same thing. Getting a fulcrum, placing the instrument toe between the teeth, and you can see that the terminal shank is not parallel to the long axis of the tooth. With the 1314, you start at the distal line angle, gently wrapping the instrument around the distal line angle of the tooth. Tilt the instrument towards the buccal surface of the tooth for zero angle insertion. Gently upright the instrument and insert subgingivally under the gums, keeping the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth. With a stable fulcrum, Scale the distal surfaces of the tooth, making sure that you work your way underneath the interdental coal, keeping the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Gently ease the instrument out. Because the 1314 is only used for the distal surfaces of the teeth, you move to the 45, the premolar. Start at the distal line angle, close the angle. Do a zero angle insertion underneath the gum tissue. Make the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth. And gently work your way interproximally scaling about five to six strokes underneath the interdental coal. You have now completed the distal surfaces of the 4-6 and the 4-5. You will change the instruments to your 11-12 Gracie. Your 1112 Gracie is only for scaling the buccals, linguals, and the mesials of teeth. To determine the correct working end, again, you would use the lower cutting edge. To double check, place a fulcrum on the tooth, place an instrument against the buccal surface of the tooth with the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth. If you cannot see the face of the instrument, you have the correct working end. To double check, we're going to have a look at the other side. 
fulcrum on the tooth, put the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth, and you can see how you can see the face of the instrument, so this is not the correct working end. Get a stable fulcrum, start at the distal line angle of the tooth, tip the terminal shank towards the tooth for zero angle insertion, insert underneath the gum tissue at the distal line angle, and tip the terminal shank slightly towards you to open the angle. Again, you want to do controlled overlapping strokes going from the distal line angle to the mesial line angle, being sure not to come out of the subgingival. As you obtain the mesial line angle, be sure and roll the instrument in your fingers to keep that toe third adapted to the mesial of the root, ending up underneath the interdental coal of the mesial and the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Gently remove the instrument, place it at the distal line angle of the 4-5, tip the terminal shank towards the buccal surface of the tooth, do zero angle insertion underneath the gum tissue, bring the terminal shank towards you, and begin your scaling. Remembering that you have to start rolling right away because it has a smaller root. Rocking on your ring finger, keeping that terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth, ending up underneath the interdental coal. You have now successfully completed the buccal surfaces of the 4-6 or the 4-5. Surfaces towards you if you're right-handed. You will now move to the 12 o'clock position and you will complete the lingual surfaces of the 4-6 and the 4-5 in the same sequence. That sequence is your 4R-4L supra, 4R-4L sub, 13-14 subgingival and 11-12 subgingival. Then you have completed these two teeth. That is scaling the posterior teeth. When we're scaling the anterior teeth, we use the sickle and the 1-2 Gracie. The sickle is a pointed instrument and it is only used for supergingival scaling. With this sickle, you will see that the instrument is slightly tipped away at the base, away from the terminal, the terminal shank, away from the handle. This is the side that goes against the tooth, the lower cutting edge. With the lower anteriors, obtain a stable fulcrum, begin at the midline of the tooth, if you're doing surfaces towards you if you're right-handed, and scale in a controlled upward motion. These teeth are very small, so you have to make sure that once you reach the line angle that you have to start rolling the instrument right away to obtain the interproximal underneath the contact point, keeping the instrument terminal shank as close to parallel to the long axis of the tooth as possible. Repeat the same scaling on the incisor beside it. Starting at the midline, nice controlled stroke, beginning to roll the instrument quite quickly as you become to that distal line angle of that 4-1, ending up underneath the contact point for super gingival scaling. While you're in this position, do the lingual surfaces of those two teeth. Again, starting with the midline of the tooth, rolling towards the interproximal, keeping the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth, into the interproximal. Repeat with the tooth beside it. Starting at the midline, nice controlled strokes, rolling the instrument interproximally, so not to damage the papilla, ending, ending up with the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth. 
You have now completed surfaces towards you with the sickle. You can change to the surfaces away and complete surfaces away with the sickle. Once you've completed super gingival scaling with the sickle, you are going to change to your 1-2 Gracie. That is for anterior scaling. With your 1-2 Gracie, again you want to use the lower cutting edge. To double check that you have the lower cutting edge, put the instrument against the buckle surface of the tooth in the direction that you are working with the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth and see if you can see the face. This is the correct working end. We will double check by looking at the other side. Putting the fulcrum on the tooth, terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth and you can see how easily you can see the face of the instrument. With the 1-2 Gracie, you place the instrument at the midline of the tooth, you tip the terminal shank towards the buckle for zero angle insertion. Once you have inserted, tip the terminal shank ever so slightly towards you to open the angle. Using a stable fulcrum, rock on your fulcrum to scale the subgingival surfaces of the teeth. With this instrument, you must rotate the instrument or roll the instrument between your fingers to maintain the toe third of the tooth against the root surface. Bring the instrument out, move to the next tooth. Midline of the tooth, terminal shank towards the buccal surface, zero angle insertion, terminal shank slightly towards you to open, and begin your rocking stroke with your, in with your ring finger stable fulcrum. Rolling the instrument in your fingers as you go around the distal of this tooth to maintain adaptation of the instrument, ending up underneath the interdental coal between the two teeth with the terminal shank parallel. Be careful not to do this because this closes the angle of the tooth. We are going to repeat on the lingual surfaces for demonstration purposes. We will start with the sickle, starting at the midline, nice controlled ro rocking strokes, rolling the instrument quite quickly to keep that toe third adapted to the tooth, ending up with the terminal shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Repeat with the incisor beside it. Starting at the midline, controlled strokes, rocking movement, rolling the instrument in your fingers, going interproximally, ending up under the contact point. Switch to your 1-2. Again, you are going to use the lower cutting edge. Double check by putting the instrument on the lingual of the tooth with the terminal shank parallel and a stable fulcrum to see if you can see the face. Double check by looking at the other end of the instrument. How easy you can see the face, that is the wrong end. Starting at the midline, lean the terminal shank towards the lingual surface of the tooth for zero angle insertion. Tip the terminal shank slightly towards you because you're at the 12 o'clock position and initiate your rocking stroke. Again, rolling the instrument quite quickly between your fingers to maintain the terminal shank being parallel to the long axis of the tooth and the toe third adapting to the root of the tooth. One more time, midline of the tooth. Tip the terminal shank towards the tooth for zero angle insertion. Slightly tip the terminal shank towards you if you're at the 12 o'clock position. Initiating a nice rocking stroke. Rolling the instrument in your fingers. 
voila, you are done. In the Perio handout, you will see a sequence of scaling that will help guide you for proper scaling order. Cheers!